everyone welcome back to my channel today we're gonna to be doing a review on the dior and valentino holiday lip sets if you do want to see a review and a demo then please keep watching as a huge favor if you like this video give it a thumbs up and comment anything down below i greatly appreciate it i read all the comments and i will do my best to reply back we're first going to start off with the valentino lip set then we'll move on to the dior this set retails for 60 dollars on sephora's website and it includes three different lipstick shades i do want to read a little bit about this set a trio of mini lipsticks in creamy satin finishes encased in an iconic studded valentino pouch perfect for travel and touch-ups here's a closer look on what the packaging looks like it says valentino on the side of the packaging, there's just a continuation of the design. Same thing on this side. And then on the back, you have a picture of the pouch included and the three different lipstick shades. Up at the top, you have the list of ingredients. It does state that each lipstick was made in France and it has a 24 month shelf life. Down at the bottom, you just have the barcode and then some logos to open this up. This pouch is so cute. It's adorable. You have the V logo. The pouch is made out of leather. It has the studded design, iconic from Valentino. And then here's what the inside looks like. It comes with this little cardboard case to hold the three lipsticks. Let's see what the first shape looks like. Here's a closer look on what the packaging looks like. It says Valentino down at the bottom. I love the design on the packaging. It's red on this side and it's gold on the other side. I'm gonna try not to blind you guys with my ring light. That's what that looks like. Up at the top, it's gold as well. On the bottom, you have the shade name. This shade is called 217A. Let's see what this shade looks like. Here's how much product comes inside of the tube. 217A is called Ethereal Red. This shade is described as a deep blood red. Here's what the shade in Ethereal Red looks like. It's not very pigmented. You can still see my natural lip peeking through. Let's see if it's buildable. Here's what it looks like built up. This shade is perfect for holiday. Let's see what the next shade looks like. The next shade is called 22R. R is called Rosso Valentino. It's described as a true neutral universal Valentino red. Here's what the shade in Rosso Valentino looks like. Another beautiful shade. Let's build it up. Here's what it looks like built up. Again, you can still see my natural lip peeking through. I wish this formula was a bit more pigmented. Let's see what the last shade looks like. This shade is called 100R. One hundred R is called Roman Grace. It's described as a romantic nude pink. Here's what the shade in Roman Grace looks like. This shade is way too light for me. Again, I want to see what it looks like built up. Here's what it looks like built up. Here's what all three lipstick shades look like swatched on the back of my hand. I like the three shades that were included in this set. I just wish the formula was a little bit more pigmented. If you were to purchase these mini lipsticks individually, they would retail for $30 a piece and it wouldn't come with a cute makeup pouch. I will be doing a wear test on the Valentino lipsticks and I will leave below in the description box how these wear. Now let's move on to the Dior mini lipstick set. This retails for $50 and it includes four different lipstick shades. I do want to read a little bit about this set on Sephora's website. An enchanting case adorned with a celestial pattern holds the gift of four miniature rouge dior lipsticks for limitless makeup looks here's a closer look on what the packaging looks like it says dior in the center i love the design on the packaging and then here's what the back looks like up at the top there's nothing printed it's the continuation of the design on the side of the packaging you have the list of ingredients same thing on this side of another list of ingredients and a picture of the shades included on the bottom it doesn't really say much you have the barcode and some logos here's what the box looks like it says dior in the center this is made out of cardboard the box doesn't feel luxurious at all here's what the back looks like there's nothing there same thing on the top there's nothing let's open this up this does have a magnet to it up at the top it says dior rouge and here's what all four lipsticks look like 
Here's a closer look on what the packaging looks like. You have the Dior logo. Here's what the back looks like. Down at the bottom, you have the shade name printed. This shade is Rouge Dior 999, and it does state that these lipsticks were made in France. Here's how much product comes inside of the tube. I fix a swatch on the back of my hand that looks much better. This shade in 999 is described as an iconic Dior Red. Here's what the shade in 999 looks like. The formula isn't pigmented. You can see my natural lip peeking through. Let's see if we can build it up. Here's what it looks like built up. It looks the same to me. It didn't add any extra coverage. I really do like this formula. It doesn't feel drying on my lips and it's not very creamy. Let's see what the next shade looks like. The next shade is called 100. Shade number 100 is called Nude Look. This shade is described as a timeless beige. Here's what the shade in 100 looks like. This shade is way too light for me. Let's see what the second to last shade looks like. This shade is called 720. is called Icon. It's described as an elegant rosewood. That's very pretty. Here's what the shade in 720 looks like. This shade is gorgeous. Let's see what the last shade in the set looks like. The last shade is called 760. 760 is called Favorite. It's described as a couture red. Here's what the shade in 760 looks like. You can still see my natural lip peeking through. Let's see if it's buildable. Here's what it looks like built up. Again, there's no added coverage. Here's what all four shades look like swatched on the back of my hand. I only liked one shade in this set. It was in the shade 720. This shade in 100 was too light for my skin tone, and these two red shades weren't very pigmented. Out of the two lip sets, I prefer the Dior lip set over the Valentino. It's $50 and you get four different lipsticks versus paying $60 and you only get three different lip shades. I do apologize about the birds chirping in the background. I'm not sure why they decided to chirp throughout this entire video. I'm gonna try and edit it out as much as as I could. I know it could be a bit distracting. Let me know in the comments down below which lip set was your favorite and if you guys did enjoy this video please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already please do subscribe. I will see you guys in my next video.